where have you guys been? It's been a while. I haven't seen you. I haven't talked to you. What's good? What's going on? I'm back, son of a sockeye here. Sorry guys, I've been uh, MIA for a little bit. Shit's been crazy at work. Got a new boat, new old boat. So I've been dealing with that, those problems that come with owning a boat, but she's all tuned in. She's ready to go. We're gonna get some footage. I'm gonna show you what you need uh, boat-wise to navigate the Great Lakes comfortably and uh, we might jig up some walleyes in the making. Let's go! So guys, the number one most important thing for being safe in the Great Lakes is having a deep V hole. You see this, the hole is the bottom of the boat. And you can see on this boat, it's a pretty, pretty uh, sharp V pattern. Very, very deep V on this boat. And then if you go to the back and you look, at your boat you want to see a v-shape back there okay that's number one most important thing the second most important thing is the length of your boat the waves can get pretty high you need at least a 16 footer in the in the great lakes this is about an 18 foot boat it is a fiberglass boat doesn't matter fiberglass or aluminum as long as it's 16 or higher i recommend 18 and make sure uh you, you know you want higher gunnels like these here the sides of them deep so you're more comfortable so this boat has two seats up here you can put a third seat up here i like it actually up there to control my trolling motor i don't like the bicycle seat i'd rather sit down in a regular seat so i have my bicycle seat down here and i also have a bench here that folds up so this bench while you're da trolling uh or down rigging you put that up and you can sit on this little seat here or turn these right around and face your uh, your lines and then of course the bow mounted trolling motor this is an older one Minn Kota Maxim I'm getting used to it because I don't feel like buying a new one right now it's got a transducer built into it so it does have its own fish finder depth finder which is pretty cool I don't like this cable steering link cable steering crap but I am getting used to it I find that with this, instead of the, uh, as opposed to the uh, electric, uh, it's better on the continuous mode and just steering it with your foot instead of the burst fire with uh, with uh, electric. And then uh, if you're downrigging, if, if you're really getting serious into the Great Lakes, you gotta get a pair of downriggers. Mount them on either side. They are pretty expensive. This boat came with it, thank God, but downriggers, you got your downriggers, you got your bow mounted trolling motor, and you got a kicker motor. You are all set. You're going to be safe in the Great Lakes. You got a deep V hull and at least a 90 horsepower or above. 90, I can do about 40 mile an hour uh, in this boat alone. Even with few guys, you're at 35 mile an hour, which is plenty. Uh, so at least a 90 horsepower. You don't really have to go overkill, but the 90 works great. Hope that helps guys enjoy guys one last thing one last thing i wanted to mention as i'm finishing my beer before i head to the river is make sure you check your wheels on your trailer most of us we just do our boat maintenance but we don't check our wheels our bearings and all that stuff if you're starting to notice grease around on your rim see how the white part if you're starting to see black and black check your bearing inside of there take that cap off pretty simple with a hammer and a little screwdriver just pop it out pry it out and make sure that bearing is full of grease and worst case scenario you're gonna have to change the bearing so you can youtube how to change a bearing but like i said if you start to notice a lot of grease in here open that up fill it with grease wipe down your rim check and see if it's still leaking grease if it is change your bearing guys it is freaking hot i've been delaying going out because i'm enjoying this beer right now called flywheel lager my brother brought over a case it had a babazumi uh babazumi on there you guys know who babazumi is fisherman we grew up with watching on tv still going around he's still out there and uh, it's out of uh chatham if you guys know where chatham is it's a little little town in ontario about uh, 45 minutes from Windsor in Chatham, Kent County, and this is where this beer is made out of. 
it's pretty good beer. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna make it out tonight, but hopefully we do. Let's go.